going to go to the content tab. We're going to add new content. We're going to use the image that we've already kind of saved into session memory to add that image to our content. And then we're going to reuse that content on a page. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to uh, right here, site. I'm sorry, not site, content. And then click search underneath content. Okay. And once we're on the content search manager, let me show you some things you can do from that content search manager. Here, we're actually looking at what type of content we would like to create. And we can leave it as all here. And if I type something like uh, Johnson, I'm looking for somebody's last name, there is a testo testimonial that has in the title of the content, Kate Johnson. There's an employee who I know his last name is Tony Johnson. And then there's a PDF that's called Global Central Banks. So how does that guy appear? If it's nowhere in the title at all, um, if you actually look inside the PDF, our search, our site search and our backend search is smart enough to actually search down inside of the files that you're looking at. Oops. Um, I didn't want to do that. And you see how Hugh Johnson is here in the middle? Um, it actually read the entire file and then included that in an index whenever it was uploaded. And that's how it found, you know, Hugh Johnson down here in the middle. So if you're searching on the back end, for a file and you use that all, it really will search everything, including the attached files, and then it'll dig down into the files and then find the, um, the terms inside of the content even, in, inside of the attached documents. So it's a pretty cool, very, very fast uh, optimized search, the same as kind of a Google search is. It splits out indexes and does really fast, really powerful stuff. Of course, you can make it more granular than that, and you could uh, click content generic and then search Johnson, and then which I don't find anything. I can then clear my search. I can also click, while we're looking at the search features, I can click on advanced and see what other fields that I can search by. I can look at what content is in the system workflow in the step unpublished or published and see what content is there in that particular workflow for this content type in that step. Okay. I can look and see if there's any language, any uh, content in Spanish, which there isn't, um, and look by language. Um, I can search by title and put, you know, quest here. And the second I type it, I don't have to click search. I don't have to do anything. It just auto searches. So, you know, I don't have anything else with Q or Q U, but, uh, if I did bear, if I did B E A, then it automatically finds that content without me doing a thing. It just, as, as I type, it just does it for me. Um, and then I can also hide that advanced search, you know, if I don't want to, or I can clear that advanced search and then get all of my content back. Okay. So what I would like you to do is on uh, the content search manager, please do select content generic, which you could get that by just start typing C O N. Right. And then that'll give you two choices, content generic or content attacked us click content generic. Now we're looking only at the generic content type. And if we wanted to add a new piece of generic content, we would click on this little action palette over here on the right hand side and add new content or import content. All right? I'm just going to add new content. And this is the generic content type. So please add new content, get to here and let me know. Okay. So name it. I'm going to name it Dean G. Um, training home message and I would like you to do the same except you use your name not mine and, uh, and I'm gonna get some like uh, some lorem ipsum some you know generic Latin content uh, in another tab you know you can just Google search you know lorem ipsum okay so I'm just gonna grab like three paragraphs of content with meatloaf and bacon.
and I'm going to paste that right there. You could just type in something, but I wanted to show the wrapping of the text around the image that we're about to drop. So you kind of need a few paragraphs of content or something to be able to make that happen. I'm actually adding that content twice. Okay. And just drop that in the body of your WYSIWYG. And now click over on the left of the very top uh, paragraph there. And then uh, you see there's this clipboard feature. Remember how whenever we use the image editor, I said click on, you know, clipboard? I'm going to add my, I'm going to have cake and pork, apparently. <laughs> um, so I'm going to click on my clipboard image, and that should show you the image that you last edited in the image editor at, in my case, 400 pixel width. Okay, let me show you again. I'm clicking to the top left-hand side, and I'm clicking on the little clipboard not the insert edit image with the little mountain and the sun or moon or whatever that is, but uh, right here, the clipboard that's right to the left of the uh, insert hyperlink. And then I'll just click on that image and place it on the page. Now you might, you might try to like drag uh, that image to select it. You just, you know, that's the easiest way to select it. It's just like uh, try to like move that outside. Of, well, I don't want to actually move it over there. <laughs> Undo. Um, Try to drag it to the left, and then you'll see it highlighted, that image. Okay. Get your image highlighted, and then align it to the right, okay, Which is, with a little align right tool. So select your image by just, you know, clicking on it, and if, you, if it's not selected, then just kind of like nudge it. A little bit with it with your mouse held down and then I just clicked on the right alignment tool to get it to move to the right and now if you click on that same insert edit image not the clipboard the one to the left of the clipboard which says insert edit image then we can adjust the properties of the image okay so I'm gonna click on that little mountain and Sun or whatever that is and then um, I'm going to click on, you know, I could change the alt the tag description, you know, you know, my cake. Um, I could change the dimensions, although you don't want to do that. You want to, you know, restyle using the image API or the image editor. Um, on the advanced tab, go ahead and put vertical space, like 15 pixels. And this is going to add padding. And it automatically starts showing you the styling it's going to add to the HTML. Horizontal space, I'll also add 15 pixels. I'll make it 20 so we can see it better. 20 and 20. And then my border will be uh, maybe a one pixel border. Although you're not going to be able to see it because I have a black or pretty dark image there. And then click OK. All right. And then that gives me a little padding around my image. And I can save and publish that. And close that. Okay. Oh, it's inside my P tag. Maybe that's why. Control X, Control P. I did too much drag. I did too much drag and play there. Um, let me see, can I get this guy and add some padding to him? Uh, 20. All right, that's better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add this content to our page. So whatever way it looks, just go ahead and save it, save and publish it. And now I just want to show the connection that, you know, you can add content all day long. Uh, it could automatically be pulled on a page the second you add it, like our news, our blogs, um, several different types of content that you might add over here on the left. The second you add it, it's already on the website and not only one page, but several different pages because it's pulling dynamically. Or you can just add it and then drop it on the page, which is what we're going to do right now. 
Okay, so we've added it here. Now go back to the site browser, open up your training homepage, right? The index page inside of your uh, named directory. And then here on this right hand side, we should be looking at the, you know, we should all be looking at exactly the same page. Well, the same layout anyway. Then click the uh, plus sign right here. If somehow you're not on edit mode and you can't see these this tooling on your page, then make sure you click on edit up here in the upper left hand corner where I'm hovering my mouse. Let's click on the uh, plus sign to the right hand side. Click on content. Um, click on that and then that'll bring up this window. So then what you want to do is um, then under content type, then select generic, right? Then that gives us the ones that we just entered. And then if you did put your name in the title, then I can just start typing DE, oh, if I get my fingers on the right keys, D-E-N, and click search. And then it finds okay. my training message. And then if you just click select, then that'll add it to your page. I'm going to click select, and there we go. I have bacon and cake. What better combination? And that you would achieve by, uh, you see the little, um, if you hover over the blue area of your content, yeah. then you've got a remove with the X, you've got to edit yeah. with a little pencil, and then you have a move it around with this. I can't even imagine what it's going to look like if I drag it over here, but um, I can. It just looks really horrible. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> I could.